Hello and welcome back to John's Fiddle Lessons at BluegrassDaddy.com. Today we are learning how to read tablature. And so in this video series we're going to learn pretty much the two basic things about tablature. First of all, where to put your fingers. And secondly, how long to hold that note. And so to start off with the first part, we're going to, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the fingerboard of the fiddle. And then we'll do some practice by playing scales. But first of all, let's take a look at the fingerboard here of my, of my fiddle. And you can see there I've got a sticker on the fingerboard and this is to help my students to see where I'm putting my fingers. And this sticker is called a Don't Fret sticker and there's a link on the website that will take you to where you can purchase it. And if you purchase a uh, fiddle through the website, through the Bluegrass Daddy, it will come to you already set up and with this sticker on it. Now when it's time to remove the sticker you just uh, take it off and put a little rubbing alcohol on there to get some of the stickiness off and your fretboard is as good as new so you don't have to worry about this damaging your fiddle. So this is the don't fret fiddle sticker It goes up under the strings. Now let's take a look at some of the colors and I'll tell you how to um, see where I am in conjunction with the tablature numbers. And so in tablature there are two things. There's the string and then there's the finger number. Now the strings are G, the, the lower string, D, A, and E. Those are your strings and then the finger numbers go like this. Your fingers are 1, 2, 3, and 4. So we have four fingers, the thumb does not count. Now, <clears throat> again take a look at the sticker. You see there are colored stickers and we're just going to go up through the orange. We're not going to get anywhere up the neck from there right now. So you see there's yellow. And this yellow is the one. That's where your first finger goes is on the yellow. Then you see red. That's two. Blue is three. And orange is four. So the colored stickers are, where your, are sort of the home base for your fingers. One, two, three, and four. And there are some white pieces of tape in between the little, uh, the little half steps. We'll talk about that in a minute. But for the most part, it's open, zero is open, and then one, two, three, four. And four just really doesn't get played as much as one, two, and three. So um, I've got a little practice song that kind of helps me to remember some of the notes on the fiddle. And uh, you can play it too. It goes sort of like on the G string. We can play G, A, B, C. It's so easy. Oh, one, two, three. On the D string, D, E, F sharp, G. It's so easy. Oh, one, two, three. Now here we are on the uh, A string. A, B, C sharp, D. It's so easy, oh, one, two, three. And of course the E string. Uh, e, F sharp, G sharp, A. It's so easy, oh, one, two, three. <laughs> Alright, so those are, if you, uh, you kind of learn that little tune and remember where your notes are, you can find just about any note on the fiddle like that. But let's get back to the tablature. So, um, we had talked about where the fingering position was. O, oh, one, two, three, and four on those notes. Now the white pieces of tape in between, those are played as well. And so do you see the white piece of the white line? It's not a piece of tape, but the white line between the nut and the yellow where the one finger goes, where the first finger goes. Your first finger plays that also. But that's called a one L or a one low. And then there's another piece of white tape between the between the one and the two between the yellow and the red and that's called a 2L or a 2 low and you see it in the tablature 2L now there's a 3 and then between 3 and 4 is a white line and that can either be played with the third finger and it's called a 3H or a 3 high or it can be played with the fourth finger in which case it's called the 4L or a 4 low so to recap the finger positions are open, one low, one, 
too low, two, three, three high or four low, and then four. So open 1L1, 2L2, 3, 3H or 4L, and 4. And then those are on all the strings. Alright, now you see below right here, I've got some tablature. And let's practice really quickly before the end of the video playing some of these notes. We'll play some single notes and then a few double stops, which is two notes played together. So you see on the, um, uh, the sort of the, the matrix here, you've got four lines, and those four lines correspond to your four strings. E on the top, the, the highest string, then A, D, and G is the lowest string. And then if you look to the right of that, you see four, four, that tells you what kind of um, timing you're going to be using, four, four timing. That means that every measure gets four beats, and we'll talk about that more in the measure video. But then you see the, um, some numbers with some lines below them. Now the lines below, those, those long straight lines, that indicates that those are quarter notes. And again, we'll talk about that in the timing video. But let's look specifically at the numbers. Right now you see on the G string an, a zero. That means we're going to play the G string open. And as we play along, you can see that we're going to show you which note we're playing with this little blue circle that hovers over the note. All right, so let's play some of these notes together. Here is a G open. Let's play that together. And I'm going to pull it here so you can see the fingerboard and not, not the bow. There is a G open. It's the lowest string. Now the next note is on the D string you see in a first finger. First finger means we're going to be playing the yellow strip. If it were a 1L, we'd be down here on the white that's between the yellow and the nut and the open. So here is D1. Let's play it together. D1. Not very good. Now the next note, let's see if you can figure out where that is on your own. That's right. E string, third finger. Now the third finger is on the blue. Right? So... One is on yellow, two is on red, three is on blue, four is on orange. So three is the blue. So let's play three E. Now the next one is on the A string. It's the fourth finger. So we're going to play the orange sticker on the fourth finger. That's good. And even if you don't have this sticker, you can still sort of see where my finger is and find the note by ear. Now our next note is one L or one low. So it is the white piece of tape between open and one. And it, we're playing this on the A string. So let's do that, do that together. Now the next note is on the D string. It's a two L. So the two, the two L or the two low is between the one and two, between yellow and red. So the white strip on the A string between 1 and 2, 2L. Two that note is a C natural. Alright, let's go on to the next one. We have an open E. Pretty easy. And last of all, on the second measure, we'll call this the second measure, and you see the measures are defined by the little uh, vertical lines there that um, that bracket your notes. So um, for the last note of the second measure we're playing a three on the G string but it's a three high. So it's between three and four it's a three high and that's played with the third finger. So this is a C sharp. And that 2L there, I think I told you it was a C, that is actually an, um, an, an F. So sorry about that. Um, so we just played a three high or a C sharp on the G string. Now let's play a couple of open notes or some double stops. So we're going to play, see that first one there at the uh, beginning of the third measure. It's the A string open and also the D string open. 
See here that's played together. Next we have E string, first finger, at the same time, so it's only yellow here on the E, at the same time we're playing the A string open. That's what that sounds like. Alright, next we have the first finger on the A, so yellow on the A string, and the third finger on the D, so blue D, and it sounds like this. And then the last double stop of the third measure, we're going to keep that third finger on the D string and play the second finger on the G. So we have the red on the G and on the D string at the same time we're going to play the blue. So here we go. Alright, a few more double stop practices just to get our fingering uh, honed on this. We're going to play the last measure. First of all, we have a 4L, and that's not a double stop, that's played by itself. So we're going to play that C sharp again, but um, we're going to play, it's right between the orange and the blue, between the 4 and the 3. But play, instead of a 3 high, we'll do it as a 4L. Alright, now, the next thing, we have a 4 on the D, so that's orange on the D, and the a is open. So when we play those together, the notes sound like they're in unison. And that's the way it is all the time. Your four on the string below is the same note as the um, as the next string up played open. So these are both playing an A, uh, an a note. Alright, two more notes here. Let's play the first finger D with the G open. So you're playing a G and an E together. And last of all, let's stretch. This is kind of a stretch, but it's played a lot in bluegrass. The fourth finger on the D, and the A is playing a 2. So the 2 is red. A, a red strip, second finger on the A string. And then fourth finger on the orange strip on the D string. That's what that sounds like. So, now you know where all the fingers go, and you'll be able to read that tablature just perfectly. Let's practice on the next video playing scales. I've got a video that has um, seven of the major scales that are most commonly used in bluegrass, and it will really help you to learn those finger positions.